Hi everyone, this is a math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the nature of roots of a quadratic equation without finding the value of x. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. When you have a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, that's the standard form, to solve we can use the quadratic formula, which states that the value of x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Note that the expression under your root is referred to as your discriminant, and the discriminant determines the nature of roots of a quadratic equation. The word nature refers to the type of numbers the roots can be, namely real, rational, irrational, or imaginary. The expression or the discriminant is represented by the Greek alphabet, that's the delta, such that we have a discriminant, delta equals b squared minus 4ac, which is the expression under our root. So therefore, to find the nature of the root of the following example, I'm starting with my a, which states that x squared plus x plus 12 equals to 0. The first step is to make sure that our equation has been written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c. The next step is to write down our parameters. We have the coefficient of x squared, a, equals to 1, the coefficient of x, b, equals to 1, and our constant term equals to 12. Using a discriminant, we have delta equals b squared minus 4ac. Our b is 1, so we have 1 squared minus 4 times a, that's 1, times c, that's 12. We have 1 squared, I'm going to change that to 1 because 1 squared is also 1, minus 4 times 1 times 12 will give us 48. Therefore, the value of a discriminant equals minus 47. Note that minus 47 is less than 0. So what that means to determine a nature of roots is a discriminant is less than 0. And therefore, the nature of roots is non-real or imaginary. In the second example, we have b, 4x squared, minus 12x, plus 9, equals to 0. Like I did in the first example, the first check is to note that our expression, or our quadratic equation rather, has been written in the standard form of ax squared, plus bx, plus c. The next step, writing out our values the coefficient of x squared, which is a, equals to 4. The coefficient of x equals minus 12. Always make sure you check the signs. And our constant term, c, equals to 9. Using a discriminant, we have delta equals b squared minus 4ac. Slotting in as values and simplifying. We have minus b, which is minus 12 in this case, all squared minus 4 times a, that's 4, times c, that's 9. Minus 12 all squared will give us 144, minus 4 times 4 times 9, that's also 144. So therefore, a discriminant is equal to 144 minus 144, that will give us 0. So our delta, when our delta is 0, what we have is the nature of the roots will be real and equal. Let's look at the last example. For our last example, we have x squared minus 5x equals to 1. The first check is to make sure that our quadratic equation has been written in the standard form. In this case, we need to move our 1 to our left hand side. So we write in our quadratic equation, we have x squared minus 
5x minus 1 is equal to 0. The next step is to slot in our values for our discriminant. We have our a, which is coefficient of x squared to be 1. The coefficient of x, b, equals minus 5, and a constant term equals to minus 1. So therefore, a discriminant, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac, will give us minus 5 all squared, that's the value of b, minus 4 times a, that's 1, times c, minus 1. Minus 5 all squared, that's 25, minus, I'm going to leave that in a bracket, we have 4 times 1 times minus 1, minus 4, and if we simplify further, we have 25, minus times minus, give us a plus, 4, and that's equal to 29. So therefore, our discriminant equals to 29. 29 is a value greater than 0, so therefore, our discriminant is greater than 0. So find the nature of root when we have a value greater than 0, we say the nature of roots is real and unequal. When is real and equal, that's when we had the value equal to zero. The next check before we move ahead is to check the value since we have a value greater than zero. Note that 29 is not a perfect square and because it's not a perfect square, we also say that the nature of root is irrational. If we had a perfect square like 4, 16, 9, we are going to say the nature of roots is rational. Thanks for watching. Bye.